All right. Bad news and good news that I'm going to be giving y'all, man. Somebody gets suspended. Another person at the same position is out against the Giants. And so is another player. Let's get into it, man. Yo, that. A. G. L. E. S. Say fly equals fly. Fly equals fly. Fly equals fly. <laughs> Yo, that man, you know what it is, you know what it is, your boy Philly Fresh, a.k.a. The General here reporting for duty. Listen, if you haven't done it, please make sure you hit that sub button right down there. I uh, appreciate it in advance, man, always, always, and also it's a bell next to it to let you know when I put up all this flavor. And hit the like for your boy, please, man, I appreciate it, man. I, I get... I be getting hundreds of views, 20 likes, something like that. You know, it it, 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 it costs y'all nothing. Just to smash a like for your boy, man. I appreciate it. Uh, fresh fact of the day, man. Fresh fact of the day is blessings can come in disguise. You might be complaining about something. You might be complaining about a job. You might be complaining about the situation that you are in. And then, boom, that situation will give you another situation. Sometimes blessings, that's why you can't really complain about a lot of things, man. Some and 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 if you are complaining, maybe you need to, to look at other people, look at other people that's that got it worse than you. Of course, it's going to be somebody that got it better than you, but it's also somebody that got it worse than you. So you really can't complain about things because you never know what's going to happen in the foreseeable future. You know what I mean? People get put in bad positions just to be put in good positions. Happens all the time. Trust me, I know. So uh, that's really the fresh fact of the day, yeah. Um, all right, so what y'all want? The good news or the bad news, man? We're gonna go with the. We're gonna go with the. We're gonna go with the good news first. We're gonna go with the good news. Uh, one of our linebackers who I think was deserving, Alex Singleton, gets a a a, a one year extension. And I think he's deserving of that. Since he's been on the field for over 75% of the snaps, we have been winning. Since he took over the Alex Singleton role and the, and the, and the Eric Wilson role, role, we have been winning. And the linebacker group has been looking very, very well. Very, very well. So kudos, man. It seemed like how he's trying to lock up his, 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 young, his young guys so he can go into this draft and just, and just plug. Pick and plug. That's what it's looking like. He already done locked up my lot at Goddard. Um, uh, who knows what happens? He probably try to lock up Miles Sanders. Uh, I would. Um, who else he locked? Josh Sweat. These are your my, these are your young milestones that you got. Avante Maddox. These are the young milestones you got, and you locked them up. So, I think Howie is going to try to plug and play in the draft. To me personally, we're going to get in this. Trust me. We got it. We, we got like nine months to talk about this. Me personally, I would go probably two defensive ends and a, and, a, and a safety, because who knows what Kayvon Wallace is? Even though I like him a lot, but they're not putting him on the field. Uh, Anthony Harris, um, and who knows what's up with Ronnie McLeod? But we're gonna get in. We're gonna go down that. Uh, we're gonna go down that mole hill another day. So let's get to the bad news, man. The bad news is Mr. Jordan Howard. Mr. Uh, five Yards of Carry himself will not be playing against the New York Giants. I'm not saying you you need Jordan Howard to beat the New York Giants. We're going to get in and do some don'ts with it. You definitely would like to have him. He's a luxury to have. Um, So that means Miles Sanders is going to get more carries. Kenneth Gainwell probably will be activated, uh, activated to the active roster. I don't see why he wouldn't. Um, But Miles Sanders... You're gonna have to protect that ball, man. You gotta protect that ball, man. Like especially when you when when you're going in between them tackles, you gotta protect that ball. That's that was two fumbles in two series. You got away with the last one, but man, you you gotta. Ah uh, man, then we got another guy out, man. A guy that I like also at the linebacker core and Taylor. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's a knee. I, I, um, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but the thing about Jordan Howard, and I'm gonna go back to that real fast, is that they saying it's a stinger, but he already, he's already, um, 
they're already saying he's out. So what kind of stinger have you out already? Last time he had a stinger, we ain't seen him for 18 months. We ain't seen, we ain't seen him on the field for 18 months. So hopefully this, this is not something that's going to linger on. But um, back to Taylor, I think it's a leg issue. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But this guy, he's been balling. For a guy that, that played limited football because of re religious beliefs, um, he looks like he is the future linebacker. He looked like he can be your milestone guy, your linebacker. I mean, the the, the the type of guy that you wanted Jordan Hicks to stay here for if he didn't get injured, but faster. You know what I mean? Um, He has all the attributes. He just got to put it together, and it seemed like he was putting it together right before our eyes. And it seemed like a lot of other players are doing that too, man. Shout out to Jalen Hurts. He's just taking what the defense is giving him, you know, um, I watched the game again, and it was amazing how we stalled. And he just took it upon himself to say, you know what? They're coming back, and I'm not going to let them do that. We fought too hard to get this lead to let us lose to this team that I think is inferior to us. Yeah, they got a good defense, but we've been shredding their defense. Um, costly, the, he, costly fumble, like I said, with Miles Sanders. And they got rolling a little bit. I thought Jonathan Gannon played some off coverage defense. I get it. I get it. I understand. Darius Slate went out. Um, when you watch the game again, when, uh, when he had McPherson in, you could definitely see a different type of strategy that, that he was doing. But I still would go with that strategy. And then if they burnt this, then it's like, all right, I'm gonna switch it. But you made you you switched it when they didn't even make you switch it just because a guy went out. And I, and I understand that's a major part of the defense. Um, not hearing anything on him with the concussion or whatever, but hopefully he hopefully he be back. Dallas Goddard came back within a week. So hopefully Darius Slade uh, be back. Definitely going to need him. But that's really it for the day, man. I just wanted to talk about some good and some bad news, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Oh, yeah. Uh, the free giveaway. I got to check to see who won. But Dallas got it definitely balled out, man. Shout out to him. But y'all already know. Stay Philly. Stay fresh, y'all. Yo, that.